With all these projects and supervising and teaching and you know, all these different things, you end up not having tons and tons of free time to sit around and say, I think I'll spend a few weeks doing whatever. It's really nice being able to say, oh, I've got four hours tonight. Hey, I wonder if I can do X and trying it real quick and getting really immediate. You know, we're talking about um, being able to program while, you, while it's running, while it's working, see the immediate. You know, I, I can go through so many iterations so fast and get a really quick feel for whether this is something that's worth pursuing, if this is something that's doable. If this is something that's going to be a three-month project, and I, I shouldn't even go there, instead of programming for three months and then realizing once you see some results finally, oh uh, yeah, this isn't going to work at all. It's not so much a let's all make a one big end of the quarter final project thing, so much as a lot of sort of week, week and a half long assignments where I say, here's how you modify live video and here's how you use it to uh, control some attributes of sound. Harry here, um, you know, letting her blinks and head movement and section of movement in the frame control uh, amount of sound, what notes are being triggered. Um, uh, it switches key based on the amount of movement in the frame. For somebody to be able in a week to just sort of dive into that and do something like that, and let alone play with the video filtering or, what, or whatnot, is really kind of kind of cool and fun. Jitter and, and Max really let you um, play a lot more and it feels like play, you know, and, and you can experiment a lot uh, quicker. So they're, they, they have that aha ha moment when they figure out how some technique or set of objects works and then they get that wonderful period where they just get to do stuff with it and play and try this and try that. Um, and uh, they really enjoy being able to quickly see results. You know, they're, they're blown away when you're running a patch and you're, uh, it's going, it's doing the thing that it does, and you keep on programming and changing it, and you don't have to stop it or recompile it, or, you know, the thing is going and I'm making changes to it. And that's so mind-blowing. This year was the first time somebody was getting a little more into grabbing network uh, data sort of thing. This was using uh, MySpace. He was uh, letting you in a jitter patch type in an interest, and then it was pulling down pictures of people that have that interest and mapping them onto 3D planes. Max and Jitter, both by giving you all the low-level tools, um, certainly encourages that method of understanding what you're doing to build the thing. It, it does... Um, through abstractions and example patches and so on, give you the opportunity to do the high level thing, which is nice. It's great for me as a teacher that I can totally pick and choose which, which one of those ways uh, I want to teach or which one of those is right for somebody's specific you know, needs or problems or interests or background.